Hey, what's up, everybody? Back once again with another video. This time, I'm showing off uh, something I got in the mail recently. Um, well, it's supposed to, well, supposedly my new Trick or Treat Studios uh, Michael Myers figure, one six scale, I just came out with, and I'm going to do an unboxing for this and uh, do a few things with it. I'm not sure what exactly, but I'll just. <laughs> Just uh, do the most with the unboxing right now, so anyway, so came here pretty quick actually. So I kind of got a notification from because uh, I bought the second hand uh, from another vendor, House of Mysterious Secrets, and uh, got an email notification saying it was shipped already, but I was kind of expecting it to not be here until like weeks. So lo and behold, two days later, it's like it's already here, and I'm really stoked about it. So. I just knew I had to do something like this, so... Alright, so I guess without further ado, uh, let's get to it. Let's open Alright, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> ah, it's looking great already. You know, I was so stoked about this when I heard about this earlier this, this year, I think. Yeah, because I know they're going uh, to do the other um, figures from the series, so like part five and part four. And I knew I had this up. So. Actually, I knew I had yeah this one up, so so I knew I had to put out a pre-order on it. And one of the only ones left, I mean, besides you know Trick or Treat Studios, which were already sold out that that particular moment. Um, this was up on a House of Mysterious Secrets, and it was one of the last ones that um, they had for pre-order, so I knew I had to uh, get it super quick. <sighs> All right. Uh, well, you know, it's nothing too special, just some uh, advertisement. That was pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> so, I um, highly recommend House of Mysterious Secrets in case you haven't uh, heard of them. Really awesome stuff. This is so cool, man. I tell you, it feels like Christmas has come early. I mean, uh, I know I read somewhere that this wasn't supposed to uh, be shipped out yet until December, and I suppose they uh, they're getting the shipments out early, and everyone else was getting theirs, so. I suppose it makes sense when I'm getting mine too. <clears throat> yeah, check that out. That's so cool. Man, I'm just I'm really trying to contain my excitement. This is just awesome, man. But I knew I had to do an unboxing of this. I'm just flabbergasted I can't contain my excitement. Wow, it's just awesome. Alright, so he's out of the package now, and I can already tell this is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking figure. I mean, Trick or Treat Studios, they have really done themselves with this. I mean, it really just looks just as good as the prototype that they had, maybe even better. Yeah, I know his camera kind of not good right now, but it's the best I can do right now, so keep the shine too. We're filming in front of my computer right now, so it's kind of like the only space I have right now, but yeah, not too bad, I'd say. So, so here we got the box, as you can see. Let's make this real quick. It's a beautiful image of Michael there. So, um, there you have it. Yeah, I think I showed this during the unboxing, too. I probably can be wrong. <laughs> but, um, I'm filming this like, you know, probably four days behind probably for maybe head, I don't know. So and uh, I know some people, um okay I'll talk about this real quick. Uh he came with this default hand, which is the one he's uh, packaged with, this open hand interesting enough. <clears throat> and uh, I had no problems um switching it out actually because I know I've heard some things um on YouTube especially uh, people had this figure and it was hard to switch the hands out which uh, is the exact opposite problem for me, actually, or no problem, actually, because um, I was able to switch it out 
uh, without any without any issue. And I was able to get the knife hand um, in there especially too. So <laughs> yeah, it got in there pretty good actually. I didn't have to struggle with it or anything. So um, I have no problems with this figure either. So um, everything about it is just awesome. And that sculpt especially, I mean, you know, I was kind of worried about this figure too because um, I was watching some reviews uh, on this particular thing and uh, some of them, the faces looked too white to me and some of them looked not so detailed. Because um, I did order this um, second hand too, so, from uh, House of Mysterious Secrets online, so it's where I do most of my um, horror memorabilia shopping, really. <laughs> so, um, Alrighty, the sculpt is looking pretty good too. Let's see if I can turn him around. <laughs> so I didn't fall, Michael. Oh. It's okay, no problems. Hair's pretty good. Okay, so aside from that, <laughs> you know, almost um, I didn't mean for his legs to bend over, but other than that, he actually stands up pretty good too. Because um, I don't know if anyone else who owns this figure noticed this, but um, he sort of has this like weird weight inside of him. Like I don't. I don't know what it is exactly. It's hard to explain. It's like it's kind of a weight inside of him. And he feels a lot heavier than most of the other figures uh, that I have. Um, maybe it's just a makeup for, you know, the lack of a stand because he doesn't come with a stand, so. Uh, but either way, he stands up pretty good on his own. Because um, I've had some uh, particular figures that don't <laughs> stand up too well. I mean, many of them have done, like, you know, they've just fallen off counters. They've just expensive figures too and they just keep falling down so for those they definitely need a stand but this one like doesn't need it <clears throat> so um, he's already pretty good so it's like I said before um, it's really stoked that Trick or Treat is doing figures of these especially Michael because we haven't had a good one six scale figure in quite a while and uh, I know that Sideshow did one some years ago but it's, it's not really lasted the test of time and uh, we've done uh, another Michael as well, but I'm not too much of a fan of the sculpt. It's a little too expensive too, and uh, I know that Three Zero has done one, um, the Halloween Six Michael, but I'm not too much a too much a fan of that. And plus, the hair on that is kind of not good, at least in my opinion. So yeah, so um, I'm already like just really sold on this figure, really. And I'm just like excited for more from Trick or Treat. So definitely an H5 and 2018 versions. Um, I know they have another version of this this particular figure, the Sam Hain version with, uh, with blood spatter on it, which that looks pretty cool. So another thing I want to touch upon too is um, maybe I haven't talked about this, but I mean I just love the sculpt of the hair so much. I mean it just maybe you can't see it here, but um. But yeah, on the figure itself, um, he has like these little horns sort of sculpted in, just to uh, make it seem, uh, you know, a bit sinister. Maybe even more, who knows, but... But yeah, I'm just really digging this sculpt, too. Um, another thing I want to mention, too, um, is that I know they have the, uh, sort of economy-style, uh, Michael Myers mask as well, uh, with the sculpted hair and everything, and I kind of wish they would get the sculpt for that, or maybe do like a, a version of the of uh, the first Michael Myers mask, and just if they ever wanted to do like the uh, economy style mask, like they shouldn't have it with this sculpt and this hair but, uh, I'm not too much a, a fan of the Halloween 2 one that they had, I feel like the hair is too slicked back and it's just you know, it's kind of too fake look, so I'll say it once again really, really nice, solid figure uh, sure, I've been out of the one six scale game in quite a while, actually. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, I think Trick or Treat even said that uh, they would do other Michaels as well, especially Halloween two versions. So, can't wait for that. And uh, for sure, like I know NECA's has done a Halloween two Michael, so it'd be pretty cool to see a one six scale version of that. So, so all in all, really, really nice figure. <laughs> Alright, so I got them up for comparison with uh, a few other 1-6 scale figures I have. This Evil Ash from uh, Sideshow, from way back in the day. <laughs> I still say he holds up, I mean, I really love the um, sculpt.
felt on this. And I think I have a review of this on my channel, but it's, it's pretty ancient, so. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm glad I'm still getting back into the 1-6 scale game. Uh, something else to uh, mention also, um, for someone who designed the, uh, well, of course, there was, you know, like three people that worked on uh, these figures. Um, this person in particular, uh, uh, Tanella Aris, who uh, designed the outfit. <coughs> And she did an amazing job. I mean, I know, I've, I've kind of heard of her. Um, she worked with Once Customs on a few uh, uh, Once Scale figures and uh, a few others here and there. And she does amazing work on this jumpsuit, <laughs> as you can see. So it has a working zipper and has uh, uh, just uh, everything uh, essential on there. So, I mean, it, I mean, it's a smaller scale, too, but it works really good especially in this size because sometimes you know they make um, jumpsuits and they don't they don't look that good so and for sure this is an improvement over uh, the uh, like way old sideshow version that they did which um, again it, this is miles better compared to that and uh, I know that sideshow has uh, their new version coming out which uh, not too uh, not too excited for because I have my reasons but the sculpt being one of them, but I think this is like far, far better. So, all right, so this is quick. And uh, just to throw this out too, like I wish like I had that new Ash that Sideshow had with the chainsaw hand. So I never got it, dang it. So it's, it's kind of one of my uh, New Year's resolutions, <laughs> so to speak. That and to get uh, some new camera equipment too. So, all right, and here's Michael next to uh, the Sideshow. Leatherface from the 2003 Texas Chainsaw Remake. Um, another thing too, um, yeah, because my other uh, evil Ash figure needed the stand. And, uh, these two don't need it, which is surprising enough. So this Michael's good, and this Leatherface is good. Um, of course, he has like enormous boots, so I don't have to worry about him tipping over anytime soon. So. Maybe now. I don't know. He's he's good. Uh, yeah, I still say he holds up. I mean, uh, way more than the other Leatherface figure they did years ago. And uh, three zeros done one, so that's that one's pretty good. I might pick that one up actually. And I know Sideshow's doing a, a brand new uh, Leatherface as well, but the sort of scene from the end of the movie with the tuxedo and the pretty lady mask and everything. So. They stand. Pretty, pretty solid figures. <clears> Here <throat> on this one's not too bad either. So, I mean, I know it's slowly becoming a review for something else, but, but again, it's just a compare and contrast. So, <laughs> so another thing. Also, I'm kind of glad that they, you know, sort of sculpted everything here, trick or treat, because um. For some reason, Sideshow decided to put like real duct tape on uh, the handles here. Um, I thought for sure they would be sculpted, but they're just kind of a mess and just falling apart. But you know, what else can you do? So, so that trick or treat is already you know miles ahead. Of, so, so here's Michael with Freddy Krueger. Still another solid figure too. Would have liked to have gotten the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street three Freddy. But uh, those are kind of hard to come by. And this one surprisingly isn't. I mean, it's like really OG um, Sideshow collectibles. I thought for sure he'd be the rare one, but he's actually pretty easy to come by. So, And uh, as you like the others, he doesn't have trouble standing up. I don't mind the stands either, but it's just, you know, safer space. So uh, he works pretty good. Um, his glove comes with um, articulated fingers too, so... I know that Sideshow did uh, a new um, Freddy Krueger, but which I'm not too much a fan of because it comes with a sculpted hat that's sculpted on his head and also the, you know, the gloved hand doesn't move. It has like alternate hands, but it's just, um, I think the articulated fingers kind of do it justice. So, yeah, so I thought, yeah, that Freddy figure pretty much stands the test of time, so glad to see that. Well, the sculpt on his hands too. Or just his hand pants. Yep. Uh, pretty solid, pretty solid figures. That's so here's Michael right next to his buddy Jason. 
kind of funny. People say they seem similar because they don't talk, but you know, they're, they're literally not the same, I mean, for obvious reasons, but I thought that was kind of funny. Alright, last and certainly not least is this, you know, big behemoth of a figure, this uh, Minton Labs uh, nemesis from what, Resident Evil 3. <clears throat> and, uh, Kind of funny story about this figure. I thought he'd be a statue at first because you know it was labeled as a, a soft statue. But then I saw some things where you can like actually pose him, like he can actually move. It's like, oh my gosh, I gotta put out an order on this. So I got it, and uh, it's here now. It's not too bad, I'd say. Um, except the uh, thing is, his neck doesn't move. It's pretty much just a solid piece, and you know, bazooka. It's a whole other thing. And I'll tell you this much, um, I mean, he has problems, whereas Michael doesn't. So, like, really night and day difference with these two is that uh, Michael has not fallen down once. Like, I've had him standing here for a while, and he's never taken a plunge once. And this nemesis, he has fallen, like, five times already. Like, no matter how I, I stand him anywhere, I mean, he's standing up now, but surprisingly enough. Well, of course, because he's against the screen right now, but... But yeah, for the most part, um, I've had him for a while, and he has fallen down, like, so many times. I mean, it's probably not Minton Lab's fault, it's just he's a, he's kind of an old figure, I think, so. I think they made him, like, three years ago, I don't know. So, um, still, you know, a solid figure on his own, too, so. It's kind of, uh, weird to see them together. They don't seem to be in the same, uh, you know, type of genre, so to speak, so, <laughs> You know, that'd be pretty cool to see, too. Uh, I've kind of been pondering um, getting back into stop-motion films again, because I, I used to do that before when I was a kid, and now not anymore. Uh, but since I have, like, you know, well, almost everything uh, as far as professional computer equipment, you know, it's probably not out of the question now. So that'd be pretty cool to do. <coughs> Just have these guys, like, duke it out with each other. Maybe with Pyramid Head, you never know. <laughs> From... Silent Hill. But yeah, I mean, pretty decent figure still <laughs> for what it is. I would have liked to have gotten the, uh, the World Box version too, but that's like super rare to come by this too, so. <clears throat> it's meant to lapse version, so. Yeah, so if you ever see this figure, definitely get it because this is like super rare too. A lot of my figures are super rare actually. It's pretty cool that I have them, so. Alright, so, uh, here they are together. Alright, so here he is with the whole horror family now. I think he finally completes uh, the whole horror setup now, interesting enough. So, uh, just uh, another thing I want to touch upon, or maybe I said this already, but let's go real quick. Um, I love the shading around the hair, too, because, uh, like I said, I bought this uh, secondhand at HowsMysteriousSecrets.com. It's a great website. Check that out. It's where I get all my stuff from, and so are there and it's here now so <clears throat> and I was afraid that the mask was gonna look too white because I'd seen some reviews and it's like eh, it's not that detailed that's you know it's too pale um, but having it close at hand like it looks like super amazing like super detailed and you know I love the shading around the hair too because that's it's not on the others but um, just on this one but it's, it's so cool it's like you know it's like emerging out of the shadows or something like scenes in the movie so I mean, I'm just really gushing over this figure, if you couldn't tell, so... I mean, that's definitely some, you know, Hot Toys quality there. I mean, I think it's, like, you know, way above Hot Toys for me, at least. <laughs> so... And plus, Hot Toys is super expensive, and... This is, like, a uh, $100 figure, mass-produced as well, and... My goodness, it just... It's just, like, leaps... <laughs> you know, beyond expectations, and... I mean, for sure, I mean, I'm just really stoked over getting, uh, for sure getting an H5 in the 2018 version that you have. Uh, with H4, I'm not, like, so much, um, sold on. It's not my favorite design, to be honest. So, um, still, you know, really, really solid work here. And definitely picking up that Art the Clown, too, so, that they're doing. Alright, so, that's it. Definitely pick up this figure if you haven't yet. And I hope you had fun with this review. And trick or treat for Halloween. 
Alright guys, and I'll see you later.